Next week, voters across South Central Idaho will head to the polls. With 18 school districts floating a levy or bond measure, the outcome of the March 8th election will determine how schools fund education for the foreseeable future. Most of what schools are putting on the March 8th ballot are two-year supplemental levies, which allow school districts to pool money by temporarily increasing property taxes. Supplemental levies require a simple majority, or 50 percent, plus one, of voters' approval to pass. In Canyon County, the Caldwell, Homedale, Middleton, Nampa, and Valley View school districts are proposing supplemental levies. According to the Nampa School District website, the annual $8 million levy will help fund ongoing school programs, keep teachers, improve technology and curriculum, and pay for facility maintenance. In a recent Nampa School Board meeting, trustees endorsed the levy and stressed how critical the funding is to provide quality education. Do I like extra levies? Do I like levies? No, I wish we could fund it the way it needs to be funded. But that's that's just out of our control right now. So if this community wants what's best for our students, this levy needs to pass, and I support it. A few Idaho school districts are also proposing plant facility levies and bonds, which require more yes votes to pass. Madison Hardy, Idaho News 6.